Have you ever wondered why objects move around the way they do? Have you ever heard of Isaac Newton, the famous scientist who figured out how easily everything moves around the way it does? Have you ever thrown an object or moved something around? Why, of course you have. But how exactly does it work? You're about to find out. Isaac Newton documented three laws of motion. Even after a few centuries, these laws are still completely accurate. Newton's first law states that an object at rest remains at rest, and an object in motion remains in motion at a constant speed and in a straight line unless acted on by an unbalanced force. What does that even mean? Well, basically, objects keep doing what they're doing. If something is stationary, like this fruit here, it will remain in rest until something moves it. An object at rest remains at rest. When this soccer ball here gets kicked, it will continue moving at a constant speed and in a straight line. Unless an unbalanced force like air resistance or gravity acts on it, only then will the ba ball descend towards the ground. Newton's first law is often called the law of inertia. Now that's a big word. Don't worry, inertia is just the tendency of all objects to resist and change in motion. The first law talks about how an object's motion resists change. Newton's second law says that the acceleration of an object depends on the mass of the object and the amount of force applied. Newton just loves big words, doesn't he? Don't worry, this law just explains what makes something go faster than something else. Now, the speed of this rock here is accelerating depends on its mass. So, that's just how big it is. It also depends on the amount of force pushing on it. The amount of force is determined by the strength of the person pushing it and gravity trying to pull the rock down the hill. On the other hand, the shopping cart here does not have as much mass as the rock, but there probably isn't as much force applied by this person here. The shopping cart would probably go faster than the rock, though. Newton's third law explains that whenever one object exerts a force on a second object, the second object exerts an equal and opposite force on the first. Well, that sure makes sense. Here's a perfect example. The air here goes down, so the balloon goes up. There's an equal and opposite reaction. Newton doesn't only inspire figs and homework, but his third law also inspired toys, such as this classic Newton's cradle here. The force of this ball on the swing on the right comes and hits all the other balls, and an equal and opposite force travels through them until the one on the opposite side is pushed. So, are there any other reasons you should know these laws? Well, let's just say you don't want to mess with them. <laughs>